Hi, this is Slime Dog. And Topo. And we're playing Guild Wars yet again. And um, we thought it would be a good idea, perhaps, to uh, do a, a quick primer for people who aren't into, um, or who, who just joined a guild and are curious about, you know, or how... Or just started the game and aren't familiar with all the aspects of, of mm, what it takes to play and, and, and what's beneficial for a guild, for example. We, every time somebody new joins, put in little notes, but it's... Figured, we figured maybe if we just sort of say here what we like as a as a we feel we feel as a, a nice uh, way to contribute to the guild without a high lo amount of stress. If you want to join one of those high level guilds where the wrecks are fifty thousand per day and really high seven million requirements of things per, yeah. that you need to do, yeah, yeah. They, and there's plenty out there, and there's and go for it if that's your thing and you want to you know donate a whole bunch of time and money not real world necessarily money but to a guild then you can you know get in the top tier guilds and that's fine but ours is uh for example more of the come on have fun and enjoy yourself but in the process you can still contribute to the guild without directly having to Spend donate money on it yeah or, or, or a whole bunch of time or effort mm -hmm. these are some of the smaller things that we like to see from our guildies, especially, you know, new members and so forth, and people new to the game that might want to get into it. So this would apply to the Let's Play, our Let's Play guild in particular, but possibly to guilds in general overall. Probably, because many of these rules are basic, sort of, and our first being the kingdom Yeah, specifically, our, our big thing is not a, a rule per se, but... Our, our guideline that we like to give, we don't have requirements for our guild, but um, we, we do like, if you're going to you know give money to the guild, we'd say before you do that, make sure all your kingdoms are up to level 10. Now, uh, in Gems of War, you can level up a kingdom by spending gold, and when you start off, all of your kingdoms are level 1, and the level of the kingdom denotes uh, how much resources you get for the from the kingdom over time, the, the tribute that they occasionally kick out, and you get as... Uh, souls and gold and keys, um, that goes up the higher the level your kingdom is. So we recommend that everybody get their kingdoms to level 10 uh, as soon as possible because that different. gives you the most resources over time. Right. Uh, right. If you take that money instead and put it in the guild, okay, great for everybody else in the guild, but you'll be generating less resources over time. So Overall, in the long run, yeah, it's, it's more beneficial to you and the guild to build up your kingdoms. This one gives you health. Mm -hmm. um, the last one was armor, I think it was. Yeah, um, the, and they where's one of our magic Zajin probably. Magic in particular, if you're looking at your kingdom, start That's with right. the ones that give a magic bonus. Those are uh, yeah, the, you can tell by the symbol there in the kingdom screen. If you want to bring it up for, for Gulvania here, see the heart there. That means that you're getting health up if you get Gulvania to ten. Where's all of ours say two, but it should say one. Um, when you get it to level ten, you get your first one. And then when you get it to five stars, you get a second one. And most of our kingdoms are five stars Here's right now, shield. so that's why it says plus two. Right. Um, normally, when you get it to ten, it would say plus one. And that applies to across all of your fights, all of your troops, with the exception of Arena, I believe, you get that bonus. Right. Why can't I find a, a heart? Oh, there's, there's a go. magic. Woo! Finally. There's your magic, yep. And there's a specific kingdoms that do the magic, which is where we started, and then we went with the health, and then we went with armor, I think was our basic, yeah, there's sort of our general. Not as many of them that give the magic, so no. go hunting, make sure you do like your... there are like five uh, kingdoms, maybe? Yeah, make sure you do your magic ones first, because they're the most useful. Um, then maybe, uh, I think attack would probably be second, uh, health would be third. Right, there's your attack. Be fourth. There you go. Um, so yeah, it's it's always a winner. Yeah, make sure you like peg up those before you start donating to the guild. Um, th that's for that's our recommendation. Other guilds obviously have their way of doing it, but I've seen other other people talk on the on the um, here in the chat about doing uh, doing that also. Some of the seasoned players are recognize the advantages of leveling your kingdoms over putting. And well, what we're talking about donating to the guild, of course, is is 
this tasks. This is where you can donate to the guild here. Mm -hmm. These are the weekly guild tasks. They start at level one every week, and you can, on the, Monday. The lower the level they are, uh, the cheaper they are to, to bump up a level. So like say starts at five thousand and initially, and then the next round is ten thousand, and then the next round's twenty. So for instance, let's 40, say we wanted to get those uh, those glory keys there for the yellow task. You just go to that task, and you can either hit X and then jump, choose an amount to donate, or you can just uh, hit hit complete or square. This is new today. They, and it'll, they just updated it. It'll and buy the whole thing. Can well, you the, do the, the whole interface. thing now? Yeah, hit the square button, I think. See if it goes. Yep, there you sure go. If you hit the square button, and it was before, but they don't show it on here. Now. Yeah, yeah. We, we just had an interface update today. They're they're bringing, uh, they're kind of modernizing the whole thing, bringing it in line. Thus, so, this, this schnazzy menu here looks different than it did previously. Actually, not bad. It's kind of growing on me, but, you know, hey, that's neither here nor there. Um, Let's see, the other thing we wanted to mention is the uh, the keys uh, for your chests. Uh, one of the things we've noticed uh, a lot of, uh, uh, it's a good idea to keep keys, some keys on hand. Okay, well, this this gets into this gets into the daily tasks, mm -hmm. which, I'm doing the wrong button, there we go. Sometimes you will get a daily task, and I don't know if it happens at, at really low levels, because we haven't had lower level tasks for some time, but we get, we get tasks of open 100 keys, gold keys, open 30 glory, glory keys. keys, or open a gem key. Mm -hmm. And it's, as you see, if this is the getting into the do, doing daily tasks. I recommend doing it as much as you can because look at the bonus. I mean, look at all those gems, and gems are good. Now, granted, um, for the gold keys, you could just drop the gold to buy the keys, but if you stockpile, say, 100 gold keys... Um, as we generally tend to have then around. when that when that quest comes up you can just turn it in for free and the reward you get is just straight up you you get, reward you, you don't get have the to reward of the hundred gold keys being used plus mm -hmm. the you know three to eight gems that you get for doing such now the disadvantage I understand at a lower level you probably are looking so desperate for for um, troops that you know, keeping them on hand may not be handy for well, you. But and there's there's no advantage to save much beyond a hundred. So no, like just by all means today. if you've got, you know, a thousand, that's not gonna help you. You're not gonna get this task ten days in a row. It's pretty infrequent when you do get it. So we do, you know, spend down to a hundred. Don't go too much higher than that. But if you keep a hundred on hand for gold keys or thirty for glory or one for gem um, it gives you a, a free task to do where it's just, you know, straight Extra up. Extra You just get bonus yeah. for it, basically. It's not... And we've noticed on ours, and again, it seems like it changed once we hit a certain level. Um, the top task changes daily. So if I don't finish the other six battles of my troop weapon here, um... I won't get, it'll change out tomorrow and the two that I've already done will be lost, which is fine. The other three will or seem to stay in place and those will, yeah. you know, we can tackle them. Because when it says win 75 battles, not necessarily, it seems don't like necessarily have that kind of time in one day all the time. So It seems <laughs> like it's pretty much, they'll, those three stay indefinitely. Those three stay until set. you complete them. The yeah. top one rotates out. Yeah. For us, like I said, I think at lower levels it changed more frequently, but mm -hmm. again, um, that's once you hit a higher level, perhaps. Um, well, the other thing that we really, really like in guild, probably the best part about guilds, I think, or the, the most interesting thing you can do in a guild, is guild wars. And we encourage, if you're in a guild, you should totally try it out, even if you're relatively low level. You can only help by doing Guild Wars. There's um, no penalty for losing. This is something that we really want to emphasize, that losing does not negate, does not cause negative to the Guild War, but winning does donate. And last mm -hmm. week, we, for example, one of our guys here, Mr. Morlock, mm -hmm, um, did a few battles, and they were hard battles, and, and and kudos to joining in, because that extra few thousand points that he brought in got us from level 7 in the ranking up to level 3, so thank you, it and really it helped, matter, yeah. and it was like a 3-2, it was a harder uh, battles, but they still, you know, the, the number they brought up helped show the ranking is what I was trying to show. Well, here's our ranking, but, yeah, but basically you can but see that. But what the, I'm saying is, we were we week. were really we right were pretty we're far fourth. down because um, 
until the our, our other guy came in and helped mm -hmm. us boost us up to, you know a, it's a small difference between us and the other team is what i'm saying that now, we're against even if you don't do guild wars even oh. if you're not participating in doing your attacks there's really there's something there's one main thing you can do to help your guild passively without doing a single fight and that is every week uh come into guild wars and set your defensive team to be your best team no. um because by default, it'll pick your first team, and unless your first team is your best team, you might end up kind of defending with a, a suboptimal team. You want the strongest team you can get in defense. Now, an, an alternative... And the best way to do... The handiest way, rather than... We, we were coming in every Monday and setting our deck for the defensive team. Um, now, we discovered that automatically it boosts, it goes straight to your first team deck in your troops so if you could just set your first troop deck as your most your best defensive team then yeah, you don't have like to mess with it'll start all the way at the top of the list and make it your if you if you make this your best team your top one uh, then you don't have to come in here and set it every week um it's probably not the worst you know and not a bad idea to begin with the only issue is uh boy if only they made it some way to shift around your team that's easily. that's our request is that we could rotate our teams in our deck because once you start getting in the oh, higher levels and you've got, a, got over 30 decks it's it would be nice to be able to shuffle them around without having to the other, rebuild them yeah bit by bit it really would help the other thing that's kind of cool here is it actually has your 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 stats for your defensive teams like you can see on those first two days I was 2-0 the first day and 1-2 and the second day. You can actually track your stats and figure out which of your teams work best defensively by kind of rotating them out, you know, leave each deck in for a week and, and, and mix and match and find out what you're... Like, because a lot of times your best attacking deck may not be your best defensive deck. Um, for a good defensive deck, you want a, a, a team that's kind of brain dead where you can... It doesn't give you a lot of choices as far as picking stuff for powers. Um, you want it to just, you know, you want good stuff yeah, and all that. It, it's great to have a deck that that when you that builds off of each other. Like my forest troll feeds my dreset troll feeds my fire giant feeds your old fire mantle. That's great. But in a, an AI does not always understand the order that it needs to go in. So mm -hmm. it might be better to say go with this where it's like true damage, just straight up. Yeah. Uh, it, you can be a first really, place or last place. It doesn't matter. It's really hard to damage. mess up true damage because right. yeah, yeah, it just <laughs> it's, there's oh, not a lot of strategy. Here's there. a little silence on top of that. Oh, yeah. there's a little mana drain on the edge. But, but Topo really loves the true damage deck. It, I don't know if you can tell. It's a favorite. Um, but it's also not our first, as you can tell, because all the way down here is the one that's set for defensive. So we do manually go in on Monday and set this as the defensive for. Guild Wars. The other defensive deck you need to set on Monday is the event deck. Um, this, 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 this isn't is, Guild Wars. This is just regular PvP. This is regular PvP. Um, events happen... Oh, wait. There we go. So this week it is Slay Strix and PvP and Explore. We did not set ours this week, have yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Did we? Of course we did. I... Don't, I Perhaps somebody did. That yeah. Like me. So the deal is, um, every week they have a different event and it tells you to like either kill a certain type of troop or do something. Some weeks it's like uh, do treasure maps and right. that is kind of neutral. Or no do, real or there. to you know defeat purple in explore battles. So it's not going to change for PvP. But on weeks where they do have the PvP bonus, mm -hmm. help your uh, fellow guild. Um, gem knights out and and set up a defensive deck that they can go against because nothing is more pain in the butt than trying to get uh trying to get a, a f battle with strix and nobody, nobody has strix up strix, in their yeah. pvp thankfully well, this week it's pvp and explore so also it, it's it's nice to help out your buddies it's also nice to help yourself out because the truth is like the more times you get attacked even if you're not winning, you're getting uh, resources, you're getting yeah. rewards, yeah. even for losing defensively. That's so true. the more attractive you can make your deck, um, the more times you get attacked, uh, it really helps you out. You get your yeah. defensive bonuses as well as um, you get more opportunities to get revenge battles, and doing a revenge and fight in PvP will give you extra glory. So That is the one thing we end up with a daily task. The very top one will end up 
three P, three do three revenge battles in oh. PvP, and there are plenty of times where we might get one in a day, but not mm -hmm. not all not three. And it's like, come on. <laughs> yeah. So setting setting your PvP defensive team to be uh, uh, in lucrative tune with the event, lucrative be. and attractive, yeah. will really it'll help out everyone else and it'll help you out. So there's really no reason not to. And again, that's a Monday thing. Check out what the event is for that week, and if it's something where you can put in a good deck for PvP defensive, go for it. Now, which is separate again from the Guild Wars defensive right. deck. Um, also, with Guild Wars, they have uh, say you're low level. You're too low level to, to you want to help out, but you're not really high enough to like you know go five zero with these high end Guild right. War teams. Um, what you can do um, aside from just fighting, which is a great idea even if you end up losing, uh, you could potentially come here and, and do these uh, Sentinels. Uh, and this is uh, a bonus that you get. You can buy it with uh, money or glory or souls, and the higher the level, the more the cost. Um, but what it does is it gives you a bonus for uh, Guild Wars. So um, it says it gives uh, plus two for your life, like, like for the first level. So all of your troops just have plus two life whenever you're doing a Guild War. Um, you can bump it up as many levels as you want, but the cool part is um, when you start doing it several times, or like it, if you're a lower level person, that, that secondary bonus here on the screen here, which says plus zero zero for higher rank guildmates, that actually will be a, a positive number and it will affect everybody who's a higher rank than you. So um, if you're the lowest rank person in the guild, you're actually helping the most number of people by coming here and doing this. Um, Again, and that's whether you fight or not, I guess. Right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, you don't actually have to do the fight uh, to go in and kick in. And the you sentence. don't have to. And again, it's five grand, which is mm -hmm. you know a level or two in a kingdom. But yeah. you know, if you're looking at places to donate, uh, that would be a, a lovely place to put money into. Yes, it works out just fine, and, and not just not just kingdoms. money either. Like this one runs on glory, uh, right. so if you're saving your gold for your kingdoms, but you you know say had extra souls for some reason, you could come and chip one in for magic, and everybody loves magic. So, um, or or don't. This is a totally optional thing. Uh, like I said, in, in our guild, I, I, I'm happier to see people doing the fights than to, to contribute money wise. Because the fights are what actually helps with your ranking. It's so because because score is score and it helps everybody. So yeah, yeah absolutely. And like I said, I can't reiterate this enough. It losing does not lose us anything. Winning does gain us points. So now, and look at the di I mean the difference right now is less than four hundred points. So if one person came in and did a battle, that would be enough that would be to enough to make us win this yeah, win today's, this day. today's win. Yeah. Now, if you're just starting Guild Wars, well, you're not, not really here, used to it, there's a couple of things that you, it's important to know. Well, first one is you can you can maximize the number of points. It's, it's not just go in, win, and get your points. Um, there's all sorts of uh, modifiers that, that can affect the amount of uh, points you have in a given day. So every day there's a different color, and if you're doing attacking on Guild War, ideally what would be really the best is if your troops had, um, or if you had four troops of the color that matches the daily color. So, you know, um, today was a blue day, so I rolled out my blue knight's deck, and you get a bonus for that. Uh, you also get bonuses for um, ending with all your troops, or ending with four troops in case of regenerating decks, um, and uh, ending the battle quickly, taking the fewest number of actions possible to win. So if you win in three po in three actions, turns, whatever. Not necessarily turns, because it's not a matter of how many turns the other guy gets to go, but if you're looping your own deck, every time you take an action, um, even if it doesn't go to the opponent, that still counts towards the number of actions you've taken uh, in that fight. You want to minimize the number of actions, so good decks are better. Uh, you want to have the same color as the daily color, and you want to not die. Finish up with the full, a full deck of four. Yes. However, if you go up against somebody with your blue troops and they're just gonna trounce you, pull out your heaviest defensive team and, or your heaviest, you know, your best attack team and yes. go at it with that. Even if you lose the blue troop bonus, at least you want to get the win. Yeah, so, winning winning with a random team is better than losing with an all blue team, right? Or an all colored team because that's you know you just end up with more points that way. So obviously, win first, then color coordinate second, fashion second, <laughs> and and of course, I guess the uh, you know the uh, winning as quick and with as many 
cards as possible. But mm -hmm. and that's about it. There's um, every day you're judged on a daily um, bonus where it's it's you versus the other guild. Uh, wait, wait. Here, this one, and like there's a number of points. Right now, we're losing by a, a hair. Um, and like I said, the next day, um, you get an XP bonus if you won your daily guild war fight with that guild. So, um, uh, if you come out ahead, then everyone gets uh, an extra uh, XP bonus, like an extra plus 50% XP or something, mm -hmm. um, for 24 hours the following day. Um, but the big thing is the weekly totals, uh, um, and it adds up how many points you've gotten across the entire week at the end, um, and that that's what affects your rankings, uh, how well you did, Sugar um, ranking. like, you know, what your current rank is, and, and it also tracks whether you're up or down from uh, the previous week. Also what your... Yep. Hey, the... your... go back over to results, uh, ranking. Here, your rewards, you know, show oh. the rewards, what you actually get. Yeah, so, this... we're trying to, you know, the more you go up, the more you, bonuses you get. Based so. on your guild's rank, yeah. And right now, because we're like 180-something, we're, we're less than 200, so we're in that tier right there that gives us 12 cards and 75 gems every week. Um, obviously, the higher the rank, the better. And that's everybody, whether you participate in the Guild Wars or not, the whole... Doesn't yeah. everybody in the guild gets that? So, mm -hmm. and again, you know, any donation you can make toward the guild wars is appreciated. And you know, win or lose, it just participating is nice. Yeah. Um, uh, the other thing that really helps for guilds is seals. Uh, this has nothing to do with guild wars, but like uh, the the thing that's important to do that you may not think of if you're not really thinking kind of guild oriented. So once you're done doing anything for the day, go into the seals menu and claim your seals, please. Um, it uh, helps. You can't. Some we've, we've some people like wait until later in the week. Like here, I can tell this person has been on and has done some PvP, so I know that they have seals to collect. Maybe they forgot or whatever. I'm not saying this person doesn't usually collect. They usually do, but. Um, by collecting, it shows, uh, people can look at the seals and be like, okay, so, you know, I'm behind this person, but haha, I'm ahead of this person, and if we get, if we get up to this amount, you know, it shows, it just, yeah. it helps to show how close we are to, to get to the next tier, the, the next tier gets you the next it, yeah, it helps. bonus of the, of the chest upgrades, which is what you're, we're, we're, one of these days, we're going to get legendaries and mythics out of this Oh, up to 10,000 seals? Yeah, that'd be oh, great, come on, 40,000! Okay, 10 40, at the 000. moment. Wow, that's ambitious. <laughs> you never know. But it yeah, that, that would be great. It yeah. can happen. If we can get some people in here to help us out, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So, bank your seals after each day, um, and just lock in those gains for the rest of the guild. So that everybody can see, like, you know, especially towards the end of the week, it's like, oh wow, I'm going to get on and and do some extra whatever so that I can get the um, seals for the week, help, help get us over that 2500 mark, because we've gotten into the 5000 before, oh, really, really close to 10000 too. And but. don't actually spend your seals until Sunday, and the reason for that is you want to give your guild as much time as possible to get as high a rank as possible, so that the, the chest rewards for spending those seals are as good it's as possible. It's worth it, because, like, Right yeah. now it's just commons and uncommons is the only thing we could pull from this, Whereas Sunday we might get up to 2,500 or 5,000 seals, and then we'd be pulling much better rarity cards out of it. So use the guild keys, but wait until uh, wait until everybody's locked it in before you uh, before you start spending them. Like, yeah, because right now, woohoo, common and rare and guild guardians. Woo. Yeah, which is okay, but later on, the high, you know, the higher up, you can get some really fun. But, you know, yeah, like if you I said, fingers crossed. Blues and purples could, yeah. and oranges, you're better off getting right. those than, than commons and uncommons. One day. Well, last but not least, we also have, uh, we're sitting on a bunch of gems here, so I thought it'd be fun to fire off uh, 50 gem keys and see what we get. Um, or 50, uh, go ahead and, and do the 11 first, and then we can do the 50. <gasps> it doesn't show the little person anymore. Ah. Oh. Oh yeah, the interface change. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We used Today, to have a, this is the first day of a this. picture of, of a guy that cycled through in the background for the chest. And it was oh, we 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 were convinced it oh, would show new. us some fun. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. See, I haven't so actually seen this new. before. <laughs> yeah. This. Oh look, 
Yeah, like flipping over. Like it's you can see the backs of the cards. Yeah. I didn't know they had backs. Oh, how funny! Oh my god, that's so fun. How cute! They're kind of wobbly. Oh, well, they're flipping. So. They are flipping. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, it used to show somebody on the side, and I was convinced that perhaps if a legendary popped up, I'd Ooh, open it arcades. then, and then, woohoo, I'd get a legendary. It'd yeah. Be, okay, most of the Ooh, time. Check that, that out. Boltaros is great, and I got, we got at least one arcane, so I'm willing to call that a win because I have really low standards. <laughs> Blues aren't bad either. Now okay, do, do so the 50. So now we're doing the 50. Do yeah. And I'll do the... Do it. Are you sure? Are do you it. sure? Okay, let's do it. Woo! And we, we finally got a legendary. Oh, and a that bunch. Look at all goodness. these purples. I love nice. him too. He's totally getting a home in our uh, our dwarf deck. We really need we were, somebody we who's on dwarves. They they must have noticed how we were drooling over him last week, the last couple days ago. Oh, so thrilled, so thrilled. Nice, nice. Okay, well, and oh yes, here's some of the other things. A bunch of purple. A lot of good purples. A lot of blues. Yeah, the blues are blues. Let's see if we got any arcanes. A lot of loose. Yay! Yeah. Oh, look at that. A couple arcanes, quite a few runics. Nice! Ah, man. I call it a win. I definitely call it a win. Well, yeah, we got a legendary, so I am not going to complain. And you're always a winner in our guild. This is true. <laughs> we would like you to join us and have fun with the game, because yeah. ultimately the, the, the most important thing is that you have fun hanging out and playing the game. Yeah. If you have questions... Then, if you're on the PS4, shoot us a shoot us a, a comment or a tell and uh, or a message, and uh, oh, we'll absolutely. send you an invite. Yeah. Well, actually, in point of fact, our guild is open. You don't need an invite to join. So just look up Let's Play with Slime Dog and Topo, mm -hmm. and you are welcome to join us. We'd love to have you. Thanks for joining us tonight. See you next time. <laughs>